Greetings viewers, hello! How are you? This is Eric the Car Guy here, and I am on the ETCG1 channel, and that's important because I only do this on ETCG1. Hey, if it's your birthday, happy birthday! Please enjoy this digital confection that I've found for you. Well, you might be looking at the vehicle behind me saying, Eric, that's not a Honda. Don't you just work on Hondas and stuff? Well, the truth is, yeah, I was a Honda technician for many, many years. In fact, I spent eight years working at the Acura dealership. So I've seen a lot of Acuras and I've seen a lot of Hondas in the 25 some years I've been working on vehicles. But ever since I branched off into YouTube, especially, I've been trying to expand that and work on different vehicles and different things. Yeah, I know Hondas and Acuras pretty well, but you know, it's nice, nice to learn new things, which is why the 2011, uh, uh, Mazda CX-7 is in my bay right now. It actually belongs to my father-in-law. He had taken it to another shop and they tried to diagnose some misfire problem and well, I'm trying to make a video about how I fixed it. Well, it needs to break first. It hasn't acted up on me once in over 20 some miles that I've been driving it. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is working on different types of vehicles, especially if you're used to a certain type. Now, you may have a vehicle or vehicles or types of vehicles that you you've owned over the years, so maybe you're very brand loyal and you only buy brand X and you work on brand X and you're very familiar with that. And, and I think that's comforting and I think that's helpful, it's, especially when it comes to diagnosing difficult problems and things like that. If you're really familiar with a vehicle brand or type, you might have some insight into what areas to look for those problems and how to solve them. The problem is even worse if you're an automotive technician working at a dealership on a particular brand. Now that makes you like hyper-focused and, and very much an expert in that brand and working on those types of vehicles, but throw something else in your bay, you don't know what to do. Everything's different. Everything is put together differently, engineered differently, feels different. It's Everything is different. And as a technician, you try to be hyper aware of the vehicle that you're working on diagnosing or whatever. That's, that's part of the thing. I think observation is a really key part of being a good mechanic or whatever. It's just basically being able to spot things that are sort of out of sorts, if you will. And if you're in a new environment, like say a different type of vehicle like this Mazda, and I'm used to working on Hondas, well, you know, puts you at what feels like something of a disadvantage. But personally, I like to look forward to those challenges. I'll admit, Mazdas aren't my favorite other car brand to work on. In fact, uh, back when I worked at an independent shop where we worked on import vehicles, uh, I did a lot of the Honda and Acura work there. We had a fleet of Mazda 323s for the parts department. Uh, in fact, the place where I worked also sold parts, import parts to other shops around the city. Anyway, I used to work on those and they used to call me Dances with Mazdas. <laughs> Maybe I came up with a name myself. Anyway. The point was, is they get really rusty here in Southern Ohio and after they get rusty, they're a little more challenging to work on. At least the older ones were. This is a 2011, it's newer and yes, there will be a video, I hope, at some point about uh, my, well, whatever I find out with this. But the point of this video, again, is about working on vehicles that are perhaps outside of your comfort zone or outside of what you're used to. And I I personally feel that that makes you better in the end because you're you're overcoming those challenges that that unfamiliarity with a particular brand or vehicle or something and I think that's good I think that opens your mind to new things but you know there's also something to be said for knowing a, a brand or something like that really really well I feel that way with Hondas and Acuras, at least some of the older ones and like that, because I have tons and tons of experience with them. And I think we've talked about this in the past that I personally believe experience is the best teacher when it comes to anything, you know, repair related. The more experience you have, the more you have to draw on in your mental Rolodex and the more effective you can be. And hopefully you don't end up chasing, you know, things that are just meaningless and take you nowhere. That's something you want to try to avoid, complete other waste of time. But I feel like I'm getting off topic with that. The point is, working on different types of vehicles, I feel, opens you up to, well, becoming better. And I wonder what your feelings are about that, especially you dealership technicians out there. What are, you, what are your experiences with this? Were you like me, you know, working on a certain brand or whatever, got really good at it, and then all of a sudden the used car department pulls something in and you're like, oh man, why, why, why the Chrysler minivan? <laughs> yeah, I've been there. Uh, videos too. 
Anyhow, I'm just curious of what your experience is with that. If you're a DIYer, like I said, are you brand loyal to a fault and you know these vehicles and you know what it is that you know needs to be fixed or maintained or whatever? What are your experiences working on different types of vehicles or not working on different types of vehicles? All types of experiences welcome down there in the comments. Down there in the description, I'm going to put links to additional videos, information, stuff like that. Also a link to ericthecarguy.com if you have automotive questions. So really easy for you to find. Just click it, click it, click it. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, remember I post ETCG1 videos on Mondays, so come back and see me then. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I will see you next time. Or down in the comments. Whatever.